Mr. Peacock, it's too early for you to be here. Come back. No, come back this afternoon. I'm waiting for Wally to see. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Wally! Come on. Oh boy. Wally! It is way too early for that kind of drama. Now the peacock is way down there. Ugh. Good morning, one and all. Welcome back to Rad's Homestead. We are going somewhere different today, doing something a little bit different. I'm going to do some kayaking. This weekend, me and Shannon are going to be by ourselves. The kids are going to be at grandparents. And I'm checking this place out to see if it's going to be a, a cool place to go um, in a few days. So come along with me. I'm going to do a little fishing too. I'm a terrible fisherman, but uh, maybe I can catch something. So we have finally made it to the lake and it looks like I have a pretty decent spot. I'm either gonna, I'm gonna start kayaking, but I think when I come back, I might do some bank fishing. There we have it. My chariot awaits. It's hard to imagine every single time it comes out of that little bag. Let's get in the water. Oh, this is always the treacherous part. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, I didn't get the rudder. It'll be okay. All right, new place, new lake. I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna try that corner over there. Did I lock my car? So I got my little handy lock box here. little waterproof lockbox. Bust doing that. So, take two. Now that I actually have my rudder, <laughs> this thing moves a lot nicer. All right, we're gonna try that corner over there first. not be catching fish but this is what I get to hang out with look at that it's a little cove and I just see fish just all underneath me it's a little tiny tiny little thing though Oh, 
still just hanging out here at the lake. I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm kind of only halfway concentrating on fishing, more concentrating on relaxing, looking at the, you know, just the cool stuff all around. But it's a beautiful place, that's for sure. I don't know how much you can tell, but I am fighting pretty hard current and wind. I'm heading back to, uh, to the car. It's been about uh, two and a half hours. Got one little bite. So I don't know. Literally, I don't know. I don't know how to fish. <laughs> You know, I come back to find my car surrounded by cones. I have a feeling uh, I'm not supposed to be parked here. I should probably pack up. I will say in my defense, these cones were not here when I got here. And there's also nothing that says no parking. Here in Georgia, any state park with a lake, you'll always have a pull off like this wherever there's a good fishing spot. You need to put a no parking sign, guys. <laughs> it's like, I haven't walked this far in my entire life. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we gotta stop for belly rubs. Yes. I'm not carrying you now. Look at you. Bye. Coming? Come on. <laughs> I mean, there's another. There's more, multiple entrances to Lake Russell. I only know this one, but yeah. This is Mulberry. Yeah. Remember, we got lost and ended up, ended up on the other side of the park. <laughs> and Wally was with us too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. He thought he might die. <laughs> he was much younger then. He was younger. I, I feel like he's funkier now. <laughs>
So I normally don't have any luck, but I actually bring the wife and Tron with me, and I guess they're my uh, my good luck charms. This thing is tiny. Um, I don't even think it's legal to keep, and I probably won't be keeping anything today since we're out and about. This is a bass. So we just got back from trout fishing, and I'm not winning any awards with this little guy. Not worth really cooking up one single trout. So we're gonna see what the chickens do to it. This stuff is okay. There's a couple small bones in there, but they usually can pick around it and not choke. <laughs> Who's gonna be the brave one? I might have to cut it up a little. I know. You hear them too, don't you? Some coyotes. So if you guys want smart chickens, do not get silkies. It is about to open up and rain. And it's actually been raining for quite a while. And our silkies have a nice little shelter. But what do they do? They huddle under a tree, a tree with dead branches. You can't see them, but there's no leaves on this tree. Come on guys, go to your home. That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Answer me! I thought this was gonna be a simple just lock them up so I didn't bring my tripod or anything, so you're gonna see some footage of hurting them. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna pick one of you up. Mr. Rooster, nope, I won't be able to catch you. Come on. Come on, guys. Rooster will follow. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. Nope, nope. You're spreading out. I need a herding dog. Almost there. Let me just get one of you in there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, nope. nope. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, guys. I just gotta get the rooster. He's the hardest to catch, though. You, uh, you don't like the light, do you? I use the light to hurt you. There you go. Come on. No. 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 Ah. Woosa. I'm about to just let them get soaked. What are y'all doing? I gotta set the phone down. I gotta catch a chicken. All right, sorry you guys couldn't see that. I needed two arms way open wide to herd them, but finally got them back in their coop. These are stupid chickens, very stupid. <laughs> 